Welcome again to What's Up Neighbors with Pam and Linda. We're back! Welcome to What's Up Neighbors with Pam and Linda. Yeah. Hey, listen, I, I just did our first show since the spring. And you both know how so much time has gone by. I know, I know. But listen, you just got back from a fabulous biking trip throughout Europe. It was you went to pretty, all, like, pretty five great. countries or something? We did. Yeah, we unfortunately, did. my summer was spent uh, after Mother's Day, John got shingles. Oh, listen, viewers, you don't want that. He still has them, kind of. It's been over five months. So we didn't really have a summer vacation. But I lived vicariously through your pictures, so that was perfect. Well, it was a fabulous <laughs> getaway. But listen, we're in San Marino, where we lived for 20 years. And it's so exciting because we're going to be interviewing Mitch Lehman, who is managing editor of the San Marino Tribune. Mr. San Marino, he knows everybody. We're really excited to talk to him. Oh, absolutely. And you know what? We've really missed you, and we are so happy to be back. Yeah. San Marino is a beautiful location. Oh, it's gorgeous, I know. So right now, we're going to turn the tables on Mitch. We're always interviewing, he's always interviewing people, and now we're going to interview him. So why don't you join us as we go upstairs? And okay. on with the show. Yes, oh, great. Okay, so okay, let's come find Here we are. Mitch. I'm so excited. Okay, after you. Okay, oh, Mitch. <laughs> oh, Mitch. Great. We're here with Mitch Lehman of Managing Editor. Pronounced properly, by the way, which oh, it often is not, but thank it's you very there. good. Thank That's you right. very thank much. You. Thank Lehman, you. not Mitch. It's pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> we're here with Mitch, and we're so excited. I've known him for 20 years. As I mentioned at the beginning, we lived, uh, our family lived in San Marino for 20 years. And, you know, the thing to do really is read the San Marino Tribune. It's, it's not anything else. So we're really, Linda and I are really excited that we're here to interview Mitch. And Mitch, today we're turning the tables on you because today Pam and I are going to be asking the questions, yeah, and you're going to be the one that's going to be giving uh, right. no pressure. I think I'm a lot better interviewer than interviewing, but we'll see. We'll <laughs> no, the no, audience no. judge, right? Uh, 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 <laughs> the audience, I love. We don't have our audience. Okay, so Mitch, you're known as Mr. San Marino. We all know that you're such an influencer, and the funny thing is, influencer is a buzzword yeah, nowadays right. in media. So, in one word, what's your secret? Presence, P R E S E N C E, not T S. Okay, but and why is that? Being there. That's really what it's all about. It's about, you know, being in different places and going there. I, I, I hate to say this, I'm going to make it sound like the best compliment I ever received. That makes it sound like I receive a lot of them and I really don't. But someone once said, You're a man of the people. And I thought it's a really nice oh, thing because I'm really with the kids that. and I go to games and I, you know, I, you I do. Yeah, so I, I love that. Around the people. Not so only I like that, I mean, Great. going to games. This is transgressing a little bit, but don't you have a booth that's been named yeah. after you? I mean, oh. it's Lehman booth yeah. and well, the wait a Spartan I... football games. Oh, yeah. Oh, my wow. gosh. That is great. Well, we're the Titans, and we're going to play the Spartans this week. Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah, so the... That's uh, the locking out of Spartans. Yeah. That's right. Okay. The, the, okay. the press box uh, five years ago was na uh, named Lehman's Loft uh, in my honor and uh, oh my, gosh, my were you flattered? So you are the voice yeah. of... The Titan football team, is that correct? Several, yeah. I do football, basketball, baseball, soccer, yeah. volleyball. Wow, you do it all. I know. Oh my I know. That's great. That's it's, a real uh, Pam was talking to you about being an influencer, but quick question to you is, who's really influenced you in your life? In one word or less? No. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a one word question. Right, right, yeah. right, right. Uh, a lot of different people, I believe, we're all should be an amalgam of a lot of different people. Is there people. somebody on top yes. of that list? What? And so there was a, a man in the community where I grew up. I still happen to be best friends with his son. And uh, back in Ohio is where I'm from. Oh, okay. And he was the commandant of the local St. Ohio Patrol. And he died very suddenly. I, I happened to be very, very close to the family at the time. Mm -hmm. And um, he, when he had quit uh, the State Ohio Patrol, he started just announcing sporting events in our town. And I was a seventh, eighth, ninth grader, and he would come and announce, you know, freshman basketball games and whatever. And I remember the impact it had on our town. Oh. It was a long time ago, too, and it was hard to do. Mm -hmm. Rosters weren't available online. You had to go down and write them down. Mm -hmm. right. And I remember how much that impacted me, my family, mm -hmm. other kids in my school. And cut to 20, 30 years later. That's a great story. It started... I, when you were 12 or 13 years old. Middle school kid, yeah. Wow. No kidding. And I was so impressed with his effort to do that and how yes. it 
affected me as someone who was playing the sports and hearing our names called and we were there. Great. Oh my God. And so you still keep came, up with so the family? I do. Yeah. That's great. But when I came to San Marino, I had an opportunity to start announcing some of the games here. It's something I volunteer as Nikki. I don't get paid for it, but it's probably, you know, it's my, my chief hobby. And so he's somebody who, you know, by oh, donating that time, I like that. really, you know, they say pay it forward, you know, or pay right. it back or whatever. And what's his name again? Ken Dukes Ken is his Dukes. name. And great. does he know that you're doing this today? He, he passed no, he away. Passed away. Yes. No, but I mean his son. Does, yes. Yeah. The family knows all That's about great. it. That's great. So but, his yeah. lives on. Your legacy. Yeah. Andrew, That's you. great. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so. Very cool. So, um, you know, I've known you a long time, and you've covered your daughter's sports and all that for almost 20, is it almost 25 years? 24 years. Yeah, 24. I saw 24, wow. but almost 25. Yeah. Um, so, in one word, what makes, what <laughs> makes, one word. In one word. The, the person in the world <laughs> right. who is <laughs> capable of one word answer, and I get two or three of them, try to get three in, here's another one, okay, go ahead, I'll do my That's best. Good. So, in one word, what makes you stay in this community? <sighs> Ah, boy, I wish I would have had time to think about that. No, that's, that's why we purposely did yeah, that's, that's a really, really tough one. Um, Two words. Uh, you know, it just How about three? a, a yeah, sense of duty. Final duty, I was going to say. Duty. I oh. very much enjoy doing this. And, I like uh, that word. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and I think that. Great. Um, I think that people like, uh, I won't say repetition, but they like something that's comfortable yeah. and that they can depend on. And so I kind of hope that they can go to a game, pick up the paper and depend on reading something or hearing something that they, you know, kind of are comfortable I, I with. I love that we're doing, and speaking of the newspaper, here is the San Marino Tribune, which uh, Mitch and his crew publish. As and they, well as they also the own the South Pasadena Review and the Quarterly they publish. So it's big business over here in San Marino. <laughs> No, that's great. Yeah, no, Mitch, this is probably a hard question, so we'll let you have five words to answer this one. <laughs> oh, wow. But um, what inspired you to go into journalism? Boy, um, nothing. Um, I, I was... Uh, that's one word. Yeah, yeah <laughs> right. it sure is. <laughs> right, right. Um, well, I'll tell you this. I have uh, advanced attention deficit disorder, and I have all my life. And um, back in our day... Um, right. There was no diagnosis for it. There was no really cure for it. There was no, uh, you know, you, I was just kind of like a bad kid or kind of like a, you know, we were called hyperactive sort of. Uh -huh. And so I struggled in education even though I felt I had some level of intelligence. But when it came to like math and science and things like that, I could not, you know, go through like the procedural mm -hmm. part of those, like, you know, the day to day to day and build on one part of math and then the other. My mind was always kind of just swimming around. But the one thing that I could do was be an English major. And so and one of the things about being an English major is there really is no right answer. You can, mm -hmm. as long as you prove to your teacher and professor that you've read the material, sometimes they're looking for different interpretations. They like things that are different sure. and they That's know, the yeah, they know you didn't read the cliff notes. Right. <laughs> and so English, even though I didn't really like it or love it, it became the way that I could at least, I won't say excel, but at least get through yeah education. So that's great. I, so I kind of became kind of, a writer through that. Yeah, yeah I love well, that. That's an inspiration to maybe other kids that are listening to this broadcast oh. and they can, you know, they see a future. Oh. Yeah. I speak a lot at like career days and things right. like that, and especially yeah. like Huntington Middle School, and it's one of the things I kind of lead with. I want them to know that no matter what their certain educational, mm -hmm. you know, toolbox is like, that they can find something to make, you know, to get to work. Because a lot I of kids, mm -hmm. when they're diagnosed with another, they're very, very frustrated, right. and they think that they have no, mm -hmm. you know, real that future. And, and there is one for kind of anything. Again. Yeah. Right. You know, thank you for sharing that with us, because that's that's really special. So, I, you know. Well, you know, on, on, just piggybacking on that, you said you went to career career day. Do you have any advice for, for kids that might be listening to this and saying, oh, I really want to go into journalism, but it's changing. It's not what it was yesterday. What I mean, should Wait. I pursue it or should I not pursue it? Yeah, it really is a tough field right now. I don't know mm -hmm. if, I, if I were, uh, you know, starting over again, if I would, you know, pursue it as like my main focus, mm -hmm. but I would certainly do it as kind of like a minor or some kind of an elective mm -hmm. or something right. like that and have that as a skill because I think that there's, there, there's always going to be some need for a real journalist and someone who can, right. you know, tell things the way that they really are. So, yeah. yeah, but boy, it is really tough because everybody thinks they're a journalist now. Just pop on Facebook and yeah, you know, yeah, Exactly. That's so look, at, look at us. I mean, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, what is one? You've written so many incredible stories, and thank you again for writing that story on me. I, uh, people talked about it, and just it was just very. 
I felt very honored that you would write about that. But um, what is one story that has really, in all your years, has really moved you? Mm -hmm. It sticks out in your mind. Many um, have. Uh, there, there's a young man right now who, you know, very currently, and his name is Ray Cheng, R-A-Y-E is how he spells his first name. Mm -hmm. And he was an athlete at San Bruno High School. He's about four feet six, four feet seven Ooh, wow. when he was an eighth and ninth grader. And I really admired watching him compete as, you know, such a smaller young man. Mm -hmm. And uh, in a story, I've written a couple stories about mm -hmm. him in the last couple of years. And um, he talked about how he was very, you know, kind of concerned if he was ever going to grow. His family wondered if he should take growth hormones. And they decided not to. They looked around and their entire family had been late bloomers. Mm -hmm. And so Ray was a volleyball player and a soccer player at San Bernardino. That's Heisman. amazing. Volleyball? Yeah, volleyball. Wow. Then he played the front row, and actually, you know, so he grew oh. about 5'8", five, 5'9", five, oh, and wow. he was, um, received a commission to the United States uh, uh, Army into oh, West you're Point, kidding. and he wow. got to West Point, and he was disqualified immediately due to an allergic reaction he had had over the summer, oh. and so he had to overcome this huge kind of a hit to, to his life and his plans and whatever. And how he responded to that, I think, is more of a lesson to people than how he got in. So here's a guy who overcame barrier after barrier after barrier. He kind of gets in. It looks like he's got this kind of smooth sailing ahead, and right. all of a sudden he gets another, you know, kind of a hit like this. And you so wrote a story on him, right? Yeah. I think I, I think that's yeah. why I recognize his name. Yeah. That yeah. was very moving. Yeah. Very moving. Very, very I like impactful that. to me oh as well. Oh my gosh, yeah. that's a great story. I like the way you said that. Yeah, I know you've been in this community for 24 years, and I'm sure you've seen numerous changes along the way. What are some of the biggest changes you've noticed about San Marino as a community? Yeah, you know, uh, one of them I actually kind of like. So, you know, some of them are, you know, they, they might be negative or whatever. The, the, it's, the people are wonderful here, by the way, and I really enjoyed that. And I remember when I started working here, somebody said, you're going to work in San Marino. These people, they're going to eat you up and spit you out. Yeah, they, I think they kind of have this, San Marino have this reputation because of the one nasty lady to dry cleaners who cuts in front of them in line or something. Like that. But that's everywhere. So. I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Uh, but the, the people here have, have just been wonderful, and I really, really enjoy them. Um, one of the things that has really changed, and, and it's some some good and some a little bit negative, but a lot, kind of a lot of community involvement, and that's real good. Mm -hmm. But I think a lot of people are getting involved in things, and they don't really know what they're talking about. And so uh, uh, there's a lot of uh, narrative out there that I don't think is real. And so, you know, this is what we're talking about, how everybody seems to be a journalist right now or whatever. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it's kind of a challenge. It's great that people get involved. The best thing about it is San Bruno people are getting involved. The worst yes. thing about it is San Bruno people are getting, <laughs> getting involved. involved. But okay. it, it, it really is. It's, gonna, it's a good thing. It's kind of in a transitional phase right mm -hmm. now. And I think that, you know, probably in the next year or two, things will kind of shake out a little bit. Great. Okay, our last question. Ooh. So One word answer? <laughs> yes, I yes. think I might let you... It uh, might be no. And we want it in sign language, please. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes. What? Yeah. Okay, so it's our secret, but what can people do to get you to do, to cover a story about them? Oh. Or their event? I wanted to brought donuts for you, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Donuts is good. Yes, yeah. okay, okay. My one word answer to most everything is donuts. donuts. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Um, you know, just contact the Tribune. It's okay. not. It, it's uh, it's kind of uh, interesting. Um, can I explain this? This is kind sure. of funny, but yeah. but you know, just about everywhere I go, and I you know talk to people, everybody has a story that they think is the best story, and they're right. It is the best story, and it's something that they're very very interested in. I've got fifty stories that I can't get to right now. And so I'll go to City Club tonight, which is tonight at San Marino Center, mm -hmm. and five people will come up to me in the buffet line and say, hey, my neighbor, you know, and I have to try to remember oh all these gosh. things. I don't really remember them all. So I do ask people, the one thing I do ask for is get the information to me, be it email or drop by a note or something like that, because I won't remember. Remember, I got ADD. Okay. So, you know, I'll be, I won't remember it necessarily. So, um, but, but a lot, that's, that's the key, is if you want something, make sure you call me. Mm -hmm. email and drop something by because mm -hmm. I'll see people at the, that dry cleaner line, you know, and they'll say, hey, you should do a story about, I forget about right. it. Well, Great. why don't you repeat, where, I'm sure everybody in San yeah, Bruno knows, have... knows where you're located, uh -oh. but why don't you repeat where you're located? Just so 2650 you Mission Street, right across the street from Julianne, right above right. PM Chicoy, and uh, exactly. right above Port of Call. Yeah. Uh, and so you're, you know, 
right in the center of the activity. Yeah. Well, San Marino is so lucky to have you. I mean, you are. I mean, just the, it's so exciting. You've got that booth on the field named after you, and you're known as Mr. San Marino, and people, you know, hunt you down wherever they go, like you said, in the buffet line. But um, thank you for also sharing a personal side of you as well. This is great, not only about the community, because really, we you are so loved by everyone, and we feel honored that you would take the time, because, you know, really? the press month, you know, we got to get that paper out. And he's, he's sitting interviewing uh, with this us. So Adam. thank you, Mitch, thank so you. much. Good to see you. It's a pleasure to meet you. And thank remember, you. Mitch Lehman of the layman of the uh, managing editor of the San Marino Tribune. We really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You.